There we go. All right, let's try this again. All right, everybody, welcome to the bottom. Let's get started. So for today's workout, you can incorporate some dumbbells. If you have them, let's go ahead and start warming up as we kind of go through everything. Squat down, twist right to the left, get that torso nice and loose. You can use anything from five or three, three pounds up to eight, maybe a 10, just be careful. Um, today is definitely gonna be cardio, cardio heavy, cardio based for a Tabata workout. We do a lot of functional stuff, but the weights are just an added challenge to get the heart rate up, make the movements more challenging. Let's take some hip openers here. Lift that knee, rotate, set it down. Got some more folks joining. Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday for those of you joining us right now live. And anyone watching the recording later, happy whatever day it is for you. All right, let's do some hammy sweeps here. Keep standing heel out in front. Reach down, scoop it up. Push those hips back. So as I mentioned, today's workout is definitely going to be cardio heavy. So that means we're going to do quite a bit of jumping, moving around the room. So make sure your space, your space is clear. Whenever you have those weights or we're setting them down, make sure you clear the floor for you to move around, reduce or eliminate any tripping hazard. But also keep in mind, this is your workout. You can take any of those variations, modifications, adjust it as you need to. Let's take those feet out wide and do some lateral lunges here. So push your hips over to one side. Push it back up, other way, and back up right. So hips go back, weight in the heels, back up to standing. Activating those glutes, pushing the hips all the way forward as you stand up in the center. And since I mentioned we'll be doing quite a bit of jumping today, be mindful of the impact. So if you are jumping with me, I will be monitoring and watching. You know, I have a kind of recurring knee injury, so I'll be watching that and taking what I need for me. But also be mindful of landing. So we're landing softly, we're landing gently in a squat position or a lunge position, whatever the case may be, to absorb that impact. Let's start to ramp it up, go right into jumping jacks. Arms all the way up, all the way down. Either tap it out or jump it out. So we'll be kind of alternating a cardio move with a functional move. Those functional moves will, will be low impact, but will still give you maximum burn because we're gonna be using just about every muscle group to do them. Let's bring it down, little shuffles. One of my favorite ways to warm up. So you just gotta shuffle, shuffle. Nice and light on your feet, little bounce, forward and back. And let's add some movement with that. Let's move side to side. Shuffle one way, bring it back. Little impact, you can just kind of sink down in a half squat and tap back. And let's go right into an inchworm here. Reach for those toes. Walk it out to a plank. Nice strong core. Pause for a moment. Walk it back up. Inchworms, planks, push ups, they can all be done on a raised surface. Maybe a chair, couch. As long as it's stable, you can always bring that surface closer to you. So you're not coming all the way down to the floor if that is a concern. But I hit one more, stand it all the way back up. <clears throat> and then we're gonna get right into it. Finish this, this first circuit, it's gonna help us finish out our warm up. You're going to start with squat to reach. So you're gonna squat down for the floor, hands come down, reach up, low impact, stay here, 
You're just gonna go nice and quick, high impact, explode into a bounce as you reach up overhead, land in that squat, reach back for the floor. All right, hold your beach ball, your snowball, wherever you are in the country. If it's snowing, you're holding the snowball. I'm in Florida, so I've got my beach ball. All right, here we go. 20 seconds, up and down. It can be a little bunny hop. That's okay. We're just moving quick. Get that heart rate up. Move two, we're gonna come down to a plank position and shoulder taps. So plank position, you're just gonna tap your shoulders, all right? On the floor, on a chair, whatever works. Three, two, one, let's go. Plank, tap. Just under 10 seconds. Make sure those hips are low, in line with those shoulders and not way up in the air. And rest, bring it back up to those feet. Round two, squat to reach, or add that hop. And let's go. Even if you're not jumping, you can do a little calf raise. Push those heels up off the floor. Work those lower legs. This is round two of four. Maybe the next round you want to add a little bit more intensity, rest. If you have those light weights, like the two, three pounds, you can hold those and press. Three, two, and plank it out, shoulder taps. This can also be done on the knees. Definitely gonna be warmed up by the end of this circuit. Three, two, one, and rest. So I'm putting down my beach ball for a moment. Gonna add that weight, just in case anyone wants to join me here. Round three, all the way down, all the way up. Ready, set, let's go. Very careful with the weight if you're using it, keeping it close to the body as you reach up as you drop it down. You're basically curling and pressing it. Rest, beautiful. Hey, I think we've got, what was that? Is that actually Ellen saying hi? Yes, hello. I thought so. Maybe Ellen will join us for a round. Round, next round, plank shoulder taps. Let's go. All right, everybody, work it out, work it out. These can be on the wall as well. Remember, bring that surface close to you. If you're protecting an old injury or maybe just something doesn't feel great today, that's totally okay. And rest. Awesome job, we've got one more set of each. So pick up your beach ball, your snowball, or your weight. Ready, set, and go. Last one, best one. Breathe. Make sure your landing is quiet. We're like ninjas here. We're ninjas with beach balls. And rest. Last time with those shoulder taps. Three, two, and one. See if you can speed up the rate of those taps. So those of you who may be watching at home, think about how quickly you can touch the shoulder and place that hand back down as fast as possible. Those of you with me live right now, I know you're doing it quick. You got a nice speed going and rest. That's the end of your first Tabata. We're done warming up. The work has begun. Let's grab some water. Come on back. You're gonna ramp it up just a little bit more. All right, let's see, we're moving on to low impact curtsy lunges. So while you're taking your water break, just gonna do a quick demo. If you're low impact here, feel free to pick up those weights. High impact, reach for the floor, jump switch, side to side. Give me that little hop 
up and over, like you're jumping over a little obstacle, all right? All right, let's get ready for that first move. Three, two, and one. That 30 seconds goes by quick. Get those hips down low, cross that leg behind the body, reach for that floor, or if you're head holding weights, just hold them close to the body, next to your side, or racked position, and rest. All right, move two, we got a thruster, so bottom half of a burpee. Plank position, pop the feet in, release the hands from the floor, back down, let's go. Hop or step. Again, modification, hop up, hop back, on the wall, on the chair, and rest. Wonderful. Awesome job. Let's get ready for round two. Curtsy lunges. Let's go. Challenge yourself this time through. And for each following round, to stay down low. You can come all the way up, but if you want more of a burn, stay low as you cross. And rest. The ruster. Three, two, one, let's go. All the way out to that full plank. Do an actual plank. All right, don't cheat on that one. Straighten those legs out, bring them back in. And rest. Beautiful. All right, curtsy lunges. Three, two, let's go. Remember that option, you can come all the way to the floor. Explode off, touch down. Five seconds. And walk it out. Awesome. For those 10 second breaks, keep moving. Keep the body moving. All right. Never stand still. And let's go thrusters. Five seconds. Last one. Done. Beautiful job. We've got one more set of each. Our last chance to crank up the energy here. Let's go. All the way. Stay with me. Earn that 30 second break coming up. Remember how quickly that first one went. And time. Let's finish out with those thrusters. We're going to grab some water. And let's go. So last 20 seconds, get the heart rate up before we have a little lull, a little dip in this interval training. Five seconds. <clears throat> Relax. Relax, you earned it. Wonderful job. All right, we are moving it right along here. We're moving into a bear crawl with push up. So kind of like that inchworm movement we did for the warm up. we're gonna be in a bear crawl position, so hips are low. Walk it out to plank. Get that plank down first. Give me that push up. Come back to bear crawl, pause, and do it again. All right. We're already in position from that bear crawl to push up. Burpees, don't worry about the push up. It's all the way down, all the way up. All right. So we're kind of building on what we just did. Let's get started. 
Bear crawl, ready, set, and go. Walk it out. I apologize. Put my phone on do not disturb. I forgot that step. It happens. Of course, that would be when someone wants to call me. There we go. And rest. So don't go too far. Feel free to take those 10 second breaks to just hold a plank so you're already ready for those burpees. Here we go. How many can we get? Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Ten second breather. Feel free to plank it out. Whew. Bear crawl, push up. Let's go. Push-ups can be on the toes or on the knees. Rest. So that's our functional movement. Moving on to our cardio burst. In three, two, one. Walk it up or jump it up. Ten seconds. And rest. Maybe the next round, turn that burpee into a strength move by taking your dumbbells, deadlifting up, pressing, and back down. Only if you want to. Bear crawl, let's go. Hips stay low. Choose whichever option you want to take now. Maybe if you come back and watch this video again, do the workout again, take the other variation and rest. Plenty of options for you. I'm going to incorporate my dumbbells this time through. Three, two, and one. Let's go curl it, press it, deadlift, come down. Keep that tummy pulled in tight. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Even without the jumping, that gets that heart rate way up there. Last set of each. Let's go. Keep in mind where your head is positioned. It's not hanging heavy like a bowling ball. There's no bowling ball where our head is. Those are muscles in our head. Use those muscles to hold your head up straight. Think about lining your ears up right over your shoulders. And rest. All right, last time with those burpees. Ready, set, go. Ten seconds. Earn that break. I love it. I see some dumbbells in the mix. I see some jumping. And rest. Thirty seconds. Relax. As relaxed as she can get in thirty seconds. Let's see. Let me have. All right. Quick demo while you get your break. We've got a squat jack with a chin pull. So sumo squat position, your weights or weight or just your hands, come down center for the floor, jump up, pull up into a row. All right, upright row and back down. You gotta make that jump quick though. Let those weights come down with gravity so that you have room to sink back down for that reach. All right, I'll give you the next move as we go. Because our break is up right here. Let's go. 20 seconds. Let's get the heart rate up. Let's work. Let's work. That's all right. 10 seconds. Let's go. 
functional movement coming up, my twisting mountain climber. So our knee comes across the body. Three, two, one, weights down, clear the floor. So slow those mountain climbers down and twist. So drop your hip and twist the knee across. Three, two, let's go. Bring that knee up towards that opposite elbow. Kind of like a plank with a Russian twist. Three, two, and one. Just your legs are doing a movement, not your, not your arms. All right, back to that first movement. Here we go, squat jack with that upright row. Again, weight is close to the body, zipping right up in front of the chest and back down. Low impact, you can step and tap, step and tap, and rest. Cross by the mountain climbers, maybe you just got a feel for it. You can go a little bit faster with those feet. Twist, let's go. Five seconds. 10 second breather, back on your feet. Step it out wide. Three, two, and one, let's go. So plenty of options here. Low impact, just move nice and quick. You can even break it up. You know, maybe your legs, a little bit fatigued. Just stick with the upper body motion. Three, two, and one. All right. Taking it back down for those twists. Ready, set, and go. We're almost done with our work game. Three, two, and one. Rest. Back on your feet for that last time. Squat, jack, and row. This last circuit, I'm gonna give you a preview for the next one. Ready, set, go. Squat, jack, and pull. So, for our last about round, it's gonna be exercises choice. Any of the moves we just did, or maybe your favorite move, choose for your cardio or your functional movement, all right? I'm gonna let you choose. I'm gonna mix and match some of all the movements so you can stick with me and rest. You can stick with me or do your favorite that we've done today, all right? Just giving you a heads up. Last time, twisting mountain climbers, ready, set, and go. I wanna give you an option, you know? Let you customize your workout a little bit. So there's room to really hit every single movement we did, or just focus on your favorite ones and rest. 30 second break. All right. So I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm going to look at my list and say, all right, that one, you know, moving on to this one next. And I'm going to start off right out of the gate. Get those burpees out of the way. I don't think any of you will be upset with that. So stick with me with the burpees or do whichever was your favorite. You can do all one movement, you know, or all of them, whatever you wanna do. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go. 20 seconds of burpees or whatever you chose. The last Tabata circuit before we finish up this workout. Three, two, one, and rest. I'm moving right into those skaters or curtsy lunges next. If you're, using, if you're doing those with weights, go ahead and pick them up. Three, two, let's go. Come on, come on. You got to bring the energy for this last circuit. Eight rounds of all out work. Come on. I love it. I'm seeing different options. Ooh, we've got some extra burpees going on, we've got some core. Three, two, one, and rest. 
Let's go to that bear crawl walk out to push up. Three, two, and go. A little bit of recovery here after recovery. We did two high energy moves. Let's do one a little bit slower, maybe. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. We're down in that plank position. Let's do those twisting mountain climbers. Nice and quick with these. So one foot is on the floor at any time. 20 seconds on the clock, let's go. So if you're keeping up a quick pace, both feet are not on the floor, all right? Only one touches while you work. Ooh, I like that, Linda. We're going there next. Three, two, and one. Let's do that sumo squat jack and pull or upright row, whichever variation. Three, two, let's go. Ten seconds. See what we haven't done. Thrusters. We're gonna go back to thrusters. So bottom half of a burpee. Ten seconds. Breathe. So make sure with that bottom half, you're coming up. Release the hands from the floor so that you're in a deep squat. Three, two, let's go. Come on. Only two movements left. Last five seconds. And rest. All right, remember that first movement we did? Squat down, explode up. You had your beach ball, your snowball. Ready, set, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Last but not least, that plank position with those quick taps. That's the only one we haven't done. 10 second breathe, or choose whichever one was your favorite. All out 20 seconds. Here we go. Last bit of work before we finish out this workout. Three, two, one. Drop those knees down, walk it up. Awesome, awesome job, my friends. Woo! That was your Tabata circuit. I hope you got a good sweat in. We're gonna do like a very, very, very brief stretch. So if anyone has to go, you can move on with your day. Just make sure you do get a stretch a little later on. So let's actually come up to our feet. Bring yourself up nice and easy. No need to rush. And once you're on your feet, let's take one ankle, one leg, cross it over the other. So that we just get a targeted forward fold on that back leg. Push those hips back, reach those hands down. Coming down slowly, let your head hang. Let's slowly bring it back up, articulating our spine, and we'll switch the legs. And again, slowly start to fold forward. Reach on down. Just wanna give you a really quick cool down here before we sit down on the floor for our ab session. Roll it up nice and easy. Let's do one more stretch for the upper body. We'll loop the fingertips behind the back or maybe grab a towel or strap. Push the hands down, lift the chest. You all did a great job. Whew. 
and shake it out. All right, friends, let's make our way down to the floor. If you had your weights, go ahead and bring them with you. We're gonna start with a pullover to crunch. Bring my timer with me here. So if you're sticking around for abs, let's get started. Legs go out straight. Oops. Arms straight overhead. You're gonna reach the weight back over your head. So you're making an eye shape with your body. Arms and legs come up, then crunch up towards your toes. All right? Drop your legs as low as you're comfortable with. If all the way down to the floor is uncomfortable for the back, make it a smaller angle. Or even leave your legs straight up. Get a pullover, get some shoulder work, get some back work, and reach up for those toes. Let's continue this for about 10 more seconds. Next move, you don't have to go anywhere. You're already in your back. Three, two, and one. You can just hold the weight straight up over your chest, drop the legs a little bit lower, and little flutters, nice and quick. Let's go. Nice, strong legs. Think about hugging your muscles to your bone so that everything is fired up. If your neck, your head, anything starts to feel uncomfortable, you can relax the head down. Three, two, one. Let's take a little reset. Hug the knees in. Hold on to your weight because we're not done with it. If you're ready, let's come up to a seat. We're going to go for a Russian twist, but we're going to go up and overhead. So drawing that arch all the way up across the head and back down. All right, here we go. Take your time with this one. We're lengthening the lever. So you wanna make sure you're in control just so we don't risk injuring shoulder. I don't know all about that. Without a weight, you just bring your arms just straight out up and over your head. Three, two, one, and time. All right, so just some weighted crunches or half sit-ups here. So we're gonna lean back, feel that resistance, feel that fight, that challenge to hold yourself upright, and then come back up to that sit-up position. So you don't need to touch all the way down to the floor. Pause, push back up. Hold that weight close. Big squeeze in your abdominal wall as you pull yourself forward. Three, two, one. Let's take a little breather. We're gonna go again from the top. So grab a sip of water if you want. Start to lay on back, going back to that pullover. To crunch with or without your weight. Let's get set up. Three, two, let's go. Reach, press it up. Make sure your head and shoulders are down when you reach your weight back overhead. They only come up when you reach up for your toes. All right, so two little movements here pull over and then a crunch. Yes, I love it. That's it. Beautiful, slow and controlled. Y'all are pros at this. Let's finish it out for three, two, and one. Leg flutters are up. You can hold that added crunch for some bonus work. Let's go. Let's 
small movements here. about 10 seconds. And rest. Just take a quick reset, hug the knees in. And then when you're ready, rock up to that seat. Coming back to that Russian twist with that big, big arch. All right, here we go. Y'all are looking great. Keep it up, keep it up. We've got three, two, and one. Awesome job. Here comes that half sit up. Ready, set, and go. Bring it back. Give me that pause. Power it up. That pause is just a little bit extra to make sure you turn on your abs. You're not just kind of allowing momentum to swing you forward and back. When you pause, your abs have no choice but to fire up, hold you upright, pull you back forward. Three, two, one. Set it down, done with circuit number one. We've got one more little cycle to finish up before we stretch. Hopefully by now your heart rate's come way down. Start to feel a little bit cooler. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna prop up on our knee and on our hand, kind of like a modified side plank, but your knee is all the way supporting you down the floor. Make sure you kickstand your leg behind you, all right? We're gonna do an oblique crunch here. So reach overhead, crunch in, draw your knee forward, not up, not up to the ceiling. Your knee should point forward in front of you and draw up towards your chest or shoulder, all right? Extend and crunch. Now, if we're protecting the shoulder, we can come all the way down to the floor so that we're supported by the floor and just do a side crunch. That's totally fine here, all right? Protect yourself. Just holding yourself upright just provides more of a balance challenge because it's not really a side plank, not a whole lot going on there. But because the floor is farther away, it's harder to stay upright. A couple more seconds here. And then we'll flip over to the other side. Three, two, and one. Let's switch it over. Extend that leg out, reach out, let's go. So pretend something was attached to your hand and your foot on either end of the room and you're forcefully pulling to break that bind. Just under 10. We're gonna switch over to a front plank next. Three, two, and one. So front plank either up on your hands or down on your forearms. And we're just gonna tap the toes out right to left. So strong plank, Strong core, tap one foot out, back in, little abduction, tap it out, tap it back. Think about a slow, low impact plank jack. Just very briefly, we're in a single leg plank, then we replace the foot. Again, check in with your head. You have a bowling ball up in your neck, or do you have a head with a brain in it, some muscles. You're holding it up nice and strong. Three, two, and one. 
Wonderful job. Let's do that one more time. One last time. Set it up on that side. Reach and crunch. Activate the glutes as well while you're holding that position, either on the floor or raised up. Three, two, one, let's switch sides. Kickstand that foot behind, shoulder right over wrist, let's go. Let's do 10 more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Right into that front plank and side taps with that foot. Last movement here. Ten seconds. And relax. Awesome, awesome job. Drop to those knees, sit those hips back to those heels. Come into a child's pose. Wonderful, wonderful job, way to work. Let's gently shift that up. Tabletop position, we'll step one foot forward and through. Kneeling position. When you're ready, come up to rest on that front thigh. You may need to step out a little bit further. We're gonna bend into that, bring our hips forward to bend into that front knee for a nice hip stretch. Untuck your back toe and press into the floor to really turn on that hip flexor, also squeezing the glutes, forcing your hip to relax and deepen in that stretch. Maybe even reach the hands up overhead, slight there in the back. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, shift your hips back. Let your chest fall forward over that front leg for that half split position, getting into the hamstring. You can prop your hands up on the floor or block or you know, hold onto the wall. Just push your hips back. Bring your toes forward or toward your knee, toward your nose. One more deep breath here, and let's switch into the other side. Other leg comes forward. Again, untuck that back toe, press down to the floor. Think about kind of lifting your body up as you press down to the floor, and then send your hips forward. Reach up if you'd like. You're almost done here. We're gonna finish out this stretch on this other leg. On your exhale, send your hips back, walk that front leg out, pull your toes up, and allow your chest to fall forward until you feel that stretch in that hamstring. And then we'll gently release from that stretch. You can make your way back up to your feet in your own way. We'll take a nice deep breath for the road. Wonderful job, everybody. Give yourselves a hand. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Got a great workout in. If you have more time, please continue to stretch. And again, to stay hydrated, even during the winter, these last few days of winter. Um, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Otherwise, I will see you all same time, same place next week, right? All right. Thank great you. Job, Thank you.
You're welcome. Uh, real quick, real quick. I was going to yeah. tell y'all about March Madness. Remember oh, March yeah. Madness is next week. Remember to sign up, guys. It's going to be virtual this time, of course. Um, but we're going to bring back.